This is a patient who comes in with right lower quadrant pain, gets a CT scan with intravenous contrast. And I want you to focus right here on the liver. Now, as we scroll through this, we can see that there is some sort of abnormality within uh, the liver. It sort of spans the right hepatic lobe, goes into the left hepatic lobe, segment four area. And it really does look that it's rather geographic, right? Sort of straight lines, wedge-shaped, it's low in attenuation. But on this study, it was felt to be indeterminate. Uh, certainly, focal fatty deposition would be a great uh, look this would be a good look for focal fatty deposition, but it was felt to be indeterminate and couldn't exclude other masses, and so an MRI was obtained to further evaluate this. So here we have the MRI images. I'm going to go straight to the T1 in and out of phase sequence. We can see here we have the out of phase sequence with the NDA ink artifact at the interface of fat and water. This is the in phase sequence on this patient. But we can see that uh, on the in phase sequence, the liver is brighter than the spleen as we would expect, but on the out of phase sequence, it is the same to darker in signal in certain areas compared to the spleen. So there certainly is fatty infiltration within this liver, and we try to correlate uh, the finding we saw in the CT to what we see in the liver itself. We can see that there's a dark sort of band of hypo-intense signal we see on the out-of-phase sequence that's not present on the in-phase sequence. And so all that area that we saw on the CT scan is a uh, area of focal fatty deposition in the liver that is otherwise also steatotic. This is a good look for it and uh, is a benign entity for which no other further follow-up or workup is needed.